Sega. Hello, this is Rob Nichols at High Voltage Software. In this second developer diary, I want to show you some of the exciting new features that are going to be in our game The Conduit when it ships in spring 2009. So here are some quick examples of our advanced AI. We have enemies that heal themselves, enemies that use cover and back away from the player. Uh, they use a variety of course different weapons through grenades. They will also dodge uh, to the right or to the left, uh, really using tactics and strategy. Here are some examples of our various death VFX. We disintegrate, we dissipate, and we have a variety of animations that make the player's uh, killing experience more enjoyable. Here is uh, our exciting color curve system where we desaturate the screen based upon how much damage you take and, of course, go to maximum when you suffer player death. All of this to help the player know that he needs to watch his health and that he needs health badly. Here's an example of our adaptive music system. You notice that the music changed when I came in here and combat began, and it will also change again when I complete this objective. We've also pumped up our sound effects quite a bit since our last diary. Our engine also supports Dolby Pro Logic 2 and has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. This is an example of our motion blur and field of distortion. You notice that things at the edge of the scope are more distorted and blurrier than those at the center of the screen. And we also blur the entire background during reloads, although this particular feature can be turned off in the options menu. These pulse boxes here demonstrate our heat distortion effect. And here's an example, we're going to pause for a moment, showing the real-time dynamic shadows on this invader and paramounts as they attack the player. Here's an example of our customizable control layout. We, of course, have several different uh, uh, presets, but we also allow you to totally adjust your uh, controller layout. If you want jump on a different button or you want to be able to switch it, you can do so. We also have, as you see here, a variety of controller sensitivity options from turning speed to camera style. Um, we allow you to customize that as well. We also allow you to totally customize your bounding box or uh, dead zone, which determines how fast you turn and when you begin turning. All of these have numeric values, so you can share your favorite settings with your friends. We also have a exciting feature. We have a customizable HUD, where we allow you to grab the various HUD elements and place them where you want to see them on screen. Uh, text boxes, health bar, doesn't matter, it's totally customizable. As is, as you see here, the transparency, where we allow you to make the HUD as opaque or translucent as you wish. You can even use this to make the HUD disappear completely. Now, we'd also like to take this opportunity to announce the winners of our controller mapping contest that was started last year. Emil Thor Bjornsson, Hui Hyun, and Jason Walker. Their entries will be used as the basis for three of our controller mappings when the conduit ships. Congratulations, and a big thank you to the countless other fans who submitted entries. We hope you've enjoyed this exciting peek into some of the features that are going to be in the conduit, and we hope to be playing against you in the spring of 2009.